Now think about this. The Word of God anchors our storm. Now watch this. Because He is omniscient, all-knowing, He knows where I am in the storm. Because He's omnipresent, He's with me wherever I am in the storm. And because He's omnipotent, He has the power to bring me through the storm. That is the anchor. How do I know that's the anchor? Because that's who the Bible says He is, that He is all-knowing, that all presence is in His presence, and He's all-powerful. You remember when the disciples out on the ship had seen it was about to sink, and they were crying out, and what happens? Here comes Jesus walking on the water. Well, why was, why was He out walking on the water? He could have walked around the shore because in His omniscience, He knew where they were. And secondly, you remember what happens? When he comes on, uh, next thing you know, he's in the boat. He's with them. And the next thing that happens, he just says, Can't, wouldn't you have loved to have heard this? Shh. And the waves get glassy and everything gets quiet. The awesome power of God. And I can tell you, God can quieten your stormy heart just like he quietened that storm comforts us. Well, uh, look at the promises of God. This anchor is an anchor full of promises. When I think about it, how many awesome promises there are in the Word of God. He promises to give us peace, not when everything is going our way, but right in the midst of storms. And does He not say, let not your heart be troubled? You believe in God, you believe also in me. What was he saying? He was saying that to men who were living in a storm that very night, and the storm was getting ready to turn into a tornado and a hurricane altogether. Jesus is going to be crucified the next day. What's he saying? Let not your heart be troubled. This is, listen, when he was here, that's the living anchor. He said it. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. What did he say? He says, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, I'll give you rest. And on and on we could go of the things that he said. To do what? To comfort them, to assure them, promise after promise after promise. And no matter what you're going through, you can mark this down. There is a promise in the Word of God that will match what storm you're going through. This infinite God of ours, who gave us the revelation of Himself, because He's omniscient, he, watch this, He knew every single kind of storm that could ever come upon humanity, from Adam and Eve in the garden to this present day, until He comes back and wraps it all up. He knows all about all storms. So therefore, when He gave us His Word, how many storms does His Word cover? All of them. You cannot think of one He does not consider. The promises of His presence, the promise of His power, the promise of His provision in our life, whatever that need is. And sometimes the need is very simple. I just need to know you're here, Lord. I just need to be reminded that you understand why I feel what I feel. I just need to know, dear God, that you understand why I'm upset. I, you, you need to know why my faith is wavering. God, I just need to be comforted and assured. 